In this video, I'm going to talk about an important table within Microsoft Dataverse called as Entra ID table. Now, if you want to open this table, what you can do is you can navigate to make.powerapps.com and under tables, you can search for Entra ID table. Okay. Now, once you find this Entra ID table, this table is basically a replica of all the Azure Active Directory users within your environment. Now, uh, if you see this table, this table has name as Microsoft Entra ID. Earlier, it was called as Azure AAD table. Okay. Now, this is a virtual table. This is not a physical table. This is a virtual entity table, and it gets updated or refreshed uh, when some settings gets changed within your Azure Active Directory user profile information. Now, this table is a virtual table. Uh, if you navigate and see the properties over here, this will basically get all the users within your unit uh, in this table. Now, this will be a useful thing if you want to look up for all the employee within your organization or if you want to filter based on some group that you can perform in all your Dataverse model-driven apps or Canvas apps. Now, the external name is AAD users or AAD user and AAD users as a plural name. And if you go into the advanced option, you will see the logical name as AAD user. Primary column for this is a display name. Display name is a logical name, external name is display name. So these are some basic useful information if you want to extract some information out of it. Now, the uh, there are some limitation. Uh, one thing is you can't see all the records over here. So if you see, you don't see like plus 10 rows or 12 rows, you can't see all the information over here. Second thing, if you want to search for something, then what you can do, you can search by filtering it out. Okay, so if you want to search for say John, okay, and if you say contains, then you can get those result uh, by searching. Okay, now if John doesn't exist, then it will not show you, but if there is a record, then it will definitely show you. So that's one of the way to navigate to the record as you can't see the entire view. There is no scroll bar. You can't uh, <clears throat> specifically uh, select uh, any column, okay? Now, here, there are other columns which are part of it, like uh, Azure Active Directory has a, a property called a city, uh, business phone, company name, given name, IM address, job title. Uh, but here you will not find many useful things like department, business units, you know, you, those kind of things are not available as of now. But I think Microsoft will make that happen uh, in the near future. And that's a basic ask of the community. You can find office location, postal code and many other uh, fields. Okay, so if I click on save, then uh, you should be able to see all those columns that will be pulled against those active directories. So if you're building a model driven app and if you want to fetch those information, then uh, you can use Enter ID. Now, the limitation for Microsoft Enter ID table is that you cannot use directly in Microsoft Power Automate. So in Microsoft Power Automate, if you try to extract or use a dataverse connected to list the rows, then you will not be able to extract information. Okay, so that's one of the limitation. You can add column over here, but I don't think so. It will add any specific value uh, for uh, by adding a column and then uh, manipulating those columns uh, as and when you want to uh, update or customize your form records. Now, just to demonstrate it to you, uh, now if you see over here, there are like around seven, eight records, as you see over here, maybe 10 records. Now, all these are coming from your Active Directory. Okay, so. This is my uh, Microsoft 365 Admin Center. If I add a user, and I'll call this user as uh, some name, okay? So maybe uh, Jim Jones, okay? So Jim Jones is a display name, and then I'll create a username Jim.Jones, okay? And I'll just click on Next, and then I will assign some license to that user. Now, that's it, you know, you have created a user. I'll say finish adding. Now, if you search here, display name contains, so I'll just say filter by and contains Jim. Yeah, 
you will not see anything because it's still getting uh, populated. Uh, so once this is done, now this activity is done. So after a while, uh, you will be able to see this record. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna refresh this page. And then once the page is refreshed, then uh, you should be able to see the record which you have created. So it is quite instantaneous. So what I've done, I've added this record, Jim Jones. Okay. And once I'm in uh, Dataverse and I open Microsoft Entra ID table, which is a part of that Dataverse table, uh, then I should be able to search the newly created record. Okay. So let's do that. So in display name, contains Jim Jones, which is already filtered and you will see this record. Now you can see this is created on the 15th of the second, 3.51 p.m. Now it's 3.53 p.m. So it took like one minute to update, okay? Now Jim Jones is a display name. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to Jim Jones and uh, make this, uh, uh, I'll edit this record rather. Uh, so I'm gonna change the display name uh, to Say Jimmy talk. Okay, so I'm just changing, I'm just making a change. Okay, now once you're done with that, uh, again, if I hit refresh, then I should be technically able to see the change instantaneously. So why I demonstrated this is it's just uh, important for you guys to understand that we can use this table as a single source of truth rather than we creating all these records in a separate custom table or make use of contact or user tables. So this is quite instantaneous. So you can see here Jimmy York and again the created date time is 3.51 p.m. So this created date is when this record is created okay now the sad part is if you see the column there is uh, if i just type in modified you don't have a modified field so you cannot technically track when this record was changed however you can play around with other columns like display name uh, business phone company name given name so all these changes are instantaneous there are two columns one is id column and then there is an another column called as a unique identifier for Microsoft Entra ID, okay? And if you compare both this column, so let me get this column over here. Uh, so let me remove other columns. So if I, if I remove other column, you can save. Now you just compare both these columns, a unique identifier and ID, it is same. It is same okay so i'm not sure why what is the purpose of this but uh, it will act as a unique identifier but i'm not sure why both these columns are exist at first place now there is a missing modified field over here because if we get that modified field then we can actually track when this record was changed or synchronized but as you saw this synchronization is pretty much uh, seamless okay uh, so I made that change and the change was instantaneous. So now let's see doing one thing. If I select this user and let me delete this user, okay? So what happens within your organization if when someone leaves an organization, so admin will gonna delete their record. Now they won't do it immediately, but then they will do it after that user has gone. So maybe after three months, the user record gets deleted from the back end. So if you delete it from the back end, whether it exists in dataverse we are going to just see okay so what i've done i have deleted that user so it is deleting the user account it is unassigning all the licenses what it had so let's assume jim jones has now left the organization user account is deleted licenses are unassigned now let me again refresh this okay So we have seen addition of records. So if anything gets added in the back end or in Active Directory, it is reflected over here. If it is modified, yes, it gets reflected over here. But what if the records get cleaned up from Microsoft 365 Admin Center? 
uh, does this record gets cleaned up automatically in Power Apps. So we're just going to see that live. And uh, as you see over here, the screen is refreshing and we are in Microsoft Enter ID table and the page is completely refreshed. So that means that record is gone. So what we can conclude out of this is when a user gets deleted from Microsoft 365 Admin Center, eventually it gets deleted from your Azure Active Directory portal and also it gets cleaned from here. So now we can easily say that Microsoft Enter ID table can act as a single source of truth for any Azure Active Directory component with regards to user profile. So like that, you can play around with your model driven app and then you can make this uh, table uh, as a single source of truth. However, there are limitations. I told you that there are many fields which are currently missing, which pres is present in Azure Active Directory, but which is missing in this field, like a department field. So if you want to get the department field, then it is not uh, quite easily available. So then what you can do is either add a new column and then try to uh, uh, use uh, some lookup uh, and then add those record. Now it's a it's a virtual table. You can't do much in this table, and I would advise not to modify this table because this table is currently you know like synchronized by uh, uh, by the service. Uh, so if you want to navigate to various records, you know what you need to do is like just scroll up and down. Uh, now even the multiple rows record are not visible over here so it's a bit uh, the interface is a bit clunky from a, a virtual uh, table perspective but it is a useful addition if you want to use azure active directory for any of the uh, application which make use of users and departments within your organization so that's it for this is all about microsoft enter id table it's a useful table it has various views forms uh, and a set of columns which you may utilize within your model driven apps thanks for watching